introduce my uh, my friend and colleague, uh, uh, Francesca Penny from the Czech Republic. Uh, we've worked together on, on various projects. So, so uh, as uh, Francesca is going to talk about high temperature corrosion pro uh, protection of zirconium fuel rods in nuclear reactors. Uh, the point zero is here. Yeah, that's right. Um, you can see it on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, by nanocrystalline diamond NCD layers. So, Henry, uh, the floor is yours. So, thank you. And thank, thank you, especially uh, to Shara Limanik, to invite me for this seminar of uh, Working Group 7. The name of uh, all coast project is carbon based. Uh, sensors yes and with working goals is safety health and standards uh, after invitation of ali i said him what i can to say to it because i'm a specialist for sensors maybe i can say something uh, to carbon because i'm a specialist for nano diamond but i thought that maybe the safety and wealth is also including in my talk for a special uh, lecture. Uh, so it's a safety standards. Yeah. So this, this, this yeah. 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 It's a, the name of my talk is High Temperature Corrosion Protection of Zirconium Fuel Rods for Nuclear Reactor by Nanocrystalline Diamond and CD Layers. We are the team of my cooperators, especially you know, maybe Irina Kine from <laughs> <laughs> But the, the teams are from Institute of Physics in Prague, that's my institute, and from Technical University in Prague, and also from partners from well known film for nuclear reactors, Westinghouse is here. So, if I'm such, yes, yes. <laughs> First, I will uh, talk something about danger of high temperature corrosion in nuclear reactors. After that, after that, I will describe in an antenna's pulse microwave ECVD reactor, uh, which we constructed, and the special use of nanocrystalline diamond films for high temperature anti-corrosion protection. And I will give some conclusion, publications, patents, and acknowledgement. So at first, maybe all you remember that 10 years ago, uh, ago the disaster in Fukushima power plant in Japan due to earthquake and tsunami and explosion of power plant in Fukushima. The standard construction of a nuclear reactor consists from the special rods. Inside of the rods are a nuclear fuel from uranium dioxide, such tablets. These rods are from the alloy of zirconium. This is struck strong ductile material, light band steel. There's a lot of very suitable properties for such work inside the reactor. But they have one disadvantage in case of increase of standard temperature inside the reactor. The standard due to normal uh, process inside is about 300 centigrades, but in case of Fukushima, out of control, it comes above to 900 centigrades, and in the surface of these rods, uh, proceeds the reaction between zirconium and water. Uh, ox uh, hydrogen was uh, uh, coming out from, from this surface due to electrolysis and it went to explosion. It was not a real nuclear explosion, but standard explosion of hydrogen. But it destroyed all power plant and 
contaminate uh, surroundings up to 30 kilometers. So, and what about connection with this disaster and our work? About, I think, 10 years ago, in my group, we uh, constructed a special apparatus for deposition of nanocrystalline diamond film. It's absolutely our own construction in cooperation uh, with uh, uh, one person from Belgium and one from Dresden. It's constructed for low temperature deposition of nanocrystalline film for large areas. The parameters are to enable past microwave source. This, this is some standard, but important parameters of this microwave. You can see inside the chamber of linear antennas. And during the process of deposition, is this plasma, microwave plasma in a, inside a mixture of working gases like a methane and uh, hydrogen, special use. So from the beginning, we thought only about the using of covering of uh, biocompatible films for some biomedical application like a coronary stent or orthoventical tests like the screws. It was successful. You can see that the standard test for monocrystal diamond is Raman. And for different materials, we obtained a very similar characterization of this monocrystalline diamond films. But <laughs> the special reason what when I uh, went by plan, plane from Boston, from Materials Research Society meeting in uh, it was, uh, 2011. And I uh, sit between some persons, and one was from Westinghouse firm and was spent a lot of time and we recognized each other that I'm a physicist, he's a physicist and he uh, taught me about uh, the problem with protection of these zircaloy rods. They used a lot of different ceramics but it was not suitable due to it's not too elastic and I said he maybe we can try our nanocrystalline diamond in a mixture with more of graphite is relatively very elastic and stable up to 1000 centigrades. And we begin our co-work. This is first try of covering of such circular rods. I have photographs on the surface of covered Rots. And we, we began with testing of it in a standard, a little bit more temperature, 300 centigrade inside reactor. And you can see we have two cases uh, initial surface covered with 300 nanometers signal crystalline diamond first initial and after 30 days of exposure, it was not easy visible change due to electron microscopy and, and uh, to Raman spectroscopy. But the uh, disaster situation was temperature about 1000 centigrade and we did some special measurements in this case of overheating the uh, hydrogen uh, uh, water water evaporation and you can see especially from this average of 
hydrogen concentration inside of a uh, surface of rods that coated rod has maybe 10 times less of hydrogen inside the surface of, of rod. It's visible also for these histograms. And you can see that nanocrystalline diamond strongly protects your zirconium alloy against hydrogen penetration inside and to destroying of this rock from the surface. It's visible only matter. Also, in the, very good in the cross sections. This A is coated cross section of such rod. This uh, black part is a corrosion of surface. This is uh, coated and uncoated. It's easy to see that uh, the corrosion is many times, maybe five times more thick than in uh, and in coated zero. This is uncoated. Hold it. Okay. The measurement here. So, for conclusion, we can see that nuclear field threading rods covered by 300 nanometers thick protective nanocrystal diamond uh, protects zero rods against hydrogen penetration against oxidation in the standard re reactor run, but also is very useful for overheating up to 800 or 1,200 centigrade. This uh, coating prolongs uh, for, from the first experience, 40% of prolonged uh, lifetime of zero, and enhance also the uranium dioxide nuclear for, for burn up. So it was a uh, laboratory tests, but now we begin a long time testing uh, using the special testing house reactor in Alden, Norway, because you know that Westinghouse is a very uh, well-known firm. It's not easy to, uh, to do some changes in reactor without long years experiment. And now we are in one and, a, one and a half year and practical uh, the, we hope that we obtain good result. We are waiting for it. So we are some publication from the beginning of a construction of an apparition to final uh, publication about protection, but also first, but very good step that now we have for such protection technology obtained in the, uh, 2020 in European patent and 2021 US patent. Yeah, acknowledgements for my co-workers. That's a <laughs> document of European patent. It's a document for US patent for, for this special coating. And thanks for your attention from all my colleagues here at the Rachel is enabled to us to obtain such good nanocrystalline diamond for you. Because of our first biocompatible application, we thought about Several years it will be the, the main goal of us, but 
probably such meeting in a plane was many times more effective <laughs> and successful <laughs> than the original thought, yeah, the idea. So thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.